Hi guys, it's Leah and welcome back to another episode of Ulfea. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to say thank you so much to Nitrous Networks for sponsoring Ulfea and if you guys would like to check them out, their links will be down below in the description and definitely use code Elizels for 10% off of your game servers. Okay, so as you guys could see, we do have a little farm going now. Um, after like, what, 20 episodes, I have finally started making a farm. And it's not really going to be like an organized farm because I'm going to store everything like at the cat cafe. Um, it's really cute. Like, I really love this little area. On this side, we do have an orchard and... Um, I needed something more than like, you know, fruits and fruit trees, so I decided to make a farm. Basically just going to, you know, um, fill up this crop field for today's episode. Is this your Halloween costume? No. Oh. <laughs> what is- Are you calling me ugly? Dose. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Um, Hold on, I think I just need to wash my face. Can I use your restroom? Uh, uh, we, I don't have a restroom, um, but you could use this pond right here. Um, take your time. Um, anyways, um, yeah, we're just gonna fill this up today. Um, but let's see what Librarian Chadex has to tell us first. Um, okay, are you done? Oh! Oh, oh, that was quick. Um, okay. Anyways, what did you need to tell me? I I saw your flyers that you posted around Alfea, and I decided to do some research on my own. And um, yeah, Rainforest Hollow. I actually got no results in the library. But however. Um, I'm sure that, um, why not ask why you're looking for Rainforest Hollow? Well, as you know, I had taken a step back from being Alpheus headmistress and, you know, um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but Marks kind of showed me my past from the Oracle of Alphea and I just wanted to learn a little bit more about, you know, where I come from and my real parents. As we both know, you're an elf, mm -hmm. and I did actually, um, upon not finding anything about the Rainforest Hollow, I decided that I would do some research on the elves instead. Oh. And um, uh, what, I, what I found was um, some interesting stuff that, um, that there's been like a recent um, spike in activity of people coming from a region called Alfheim. Oh? That kind of seems familiar. It kind of sounds familiar, but I don't know from what exactly. Yeah. Um. Um, well, uh, if you wanted, I did bring a book that could maybe shed some mm -hmm. light on that. Uh -huh. If you want to take a look. Yeah, of course. Um. Ever since Librarian Tradex has visited me, I have been doing a lot of research. I was actually working on Britannia before, but I never stumbled upon this, and it is called the Portal to Alfheim. And I think this is where the Rainforest Elves went to, because it says here that they say that once upon a time, elves shared the world with us Minecraftians. Due to events presently unknown to us, at some point, they were banished back to their own world. Alfheim, never to return. Experiments have been performed in an attempt to re-establish a connection between the two worlds and a theoretical procedure for creating such a portal has been devised. And then it basically tells me how to create the portal and I actually already made the portal. I do need my wand to activate it. So yeah, I have just been doing some digging and it also tells me that they will give back resources but it really depends on how it goes. Here we are at my Botani area, and I also wrote them a note, and I already prepared it, but before I even think about a note, I really want to make sure that this portal works. So I set everything up as it needed, and we just have to activate it. <gasps> Whoa, it actually worked! <gasps> All the mana is going towards the portal, so I think we are okay, and 
that we can actually reach them now. To whoever finds this letter, I'm reaching out to the elves of this dimension to learn about Rainforest Hollow and the night of the attack in the hollow. Please help me out. And we are just going to throw this into this portal. And I hope, I really, really hope that I get some answers. So it seems like they took it. But I'm not getting anything. Um, I don't think it worked. Or, I don't know, maybe it's gonna take some time, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of do things and kind of just check up on this in a bit. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go tend the farm in the meantime. Okay, I am filling this farm up pretty quickly. Uh, just a few more stacks of seeds and I need to go get more but in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and check if they sent anything back at the portal mm, They didn't send anything back I think I've been looking at this the wrong way I think I have an idea All right, I already wrote the note, but I think there's one more thing that I need to give them Alright, where is it? I really need to find that thing that I'm looking for. It's not here. These are all my tools. Um, where could it be? I swear I placed it somewhere. Was it here? No. <gasps> I know where it is. It's just right over here. Yes, the basket. Hello, it's me again. I'm sorry for the way the first letter came off ass and I wanted to assure you are not in danger. However, I am in need of your assistance. I am the daughter of King Gildor and Queen Everlay. It may be hard to believe, but it's true. A guardian that took me in told me that someone left me in the gates of Alfea High in this basket. As the ex-head mistress of Alfea, I've seen visions of my past through the Oracle of Alfea. All I know is that the Hollow was attacked by some creatures. Leah. Okay, I'm hoping to God that this works. All right, we're gonna send in my letter and this basket that I came with. Okay, um, we're just gonna give it a few minutes. I'm gonna go do some farming and hopefully it comes back. Oh, <gasps> what was that? I think that might be what I think it is. <gasps> I can't believe they actually responded back from Alfheim. Leah? Leah the Elven Fairy? The princess of the Rainforest Hollow? Why didn't you just say so? We are so glad to hear from you, though you scared us and here we thought our dimension has been found by Malivore's creatures. Oh Miss Leah, you don't understand. We have been waiting your return for over 26 years now. We are so sorry for the loss of thou mother and father. You must get out of magics. It is no longer a safe place, especially for a powerful being like you. We can answer questions you have about your parents, the attack, and the rainforest hollow. Elves of Alfheim. <gasps> I can't believe they wrote back to me. What? I can't believe that word, though I kind of... I guess they'll just keep the basket, but... Oh my gosh, we finally are about to get some answers. Oh hello, thank you for writing back. I as well am glad to hear from you. There's no need to be sorry. I know the stress of the attack I had on everyone. I feel that magics is no longer a safe place, but I must help my friends and my loved ones here, as well as my students. Please send me any information you may have on the creatures that attacked. Leah. Alright, we're gonna send this and hopefully... They give us something back. Though, as you guys could tell, it did take them a while. Look how big my farm has grown, but I do have one more seed. And I think it's actually perfect, so... So I have all the different crops here, and then the back just has a bunch of wheat, and... <gasps> oh my gosh, they responded back! <gasps> What is that? The Sword of King Gildor and the Ring of Queen Everlay. We understand you want to stay, so we will help you to the best of our abilities. We will send in research of all we've found from the attack. If you'd like to physically summon us, just use a Shimmering Flora. 
Also, we will send back some magical items that will help you, as long as you throw the recipe into the portal. Lastly, here is the sword of your father and the ring of your mother. We here at Alfheim think it should be in your possession. The elves of Alfheim. Guys, I can't believe they actually gave me the ring and the sword of my parents. This is so special to me, and I'm definitely going to take care of it. They also told me that they're going to send in some research about the attack. So I need to be ready and do some research All on right. it. Alright, so here goes nothing. The Alfheim elves were able to send in some research that they had. And I'm sure that these are all going to be useful. One of the research seems to be a diary of a resident of the Rainforest Hollow. The day before the attack, it seems that this person had an amazing day. The village is doing amazing and tomorrow we are celebrating our pack at the flower fields. I spent the day with the children of the village and it was so much fun. I wish to be a mother one day. Queen Everly even stopped by to play for a few minutes with the children. I hope one day we can build a school for them. Anyway, my mama made my favorite dessert tonight. Pixie pie. See you tomorrow, diary. Love, blank. It seems that their name has been erased from this document. The next day, this person wrote, Dear diary, I'm so scared. I can't believe this is the last thing I do, but I am scared. I'm sad, I don't know what to do. All I hear is screaming and crying outside. The monsters pulled me away from my mama. There was a scary looking man who was made of some mud. Everyone in the village is dying and the poor children I couldn't save. I hear someone outside my home. If I did not survive the attack, our village was attacked by three-eyed monsters and a mud man. I hear somebody, please help. And it seems to be the end of their diary. Oh man, this is really scary. Let's see what officially happened. And that stormy night we will never forget. Crops were broken and taken. Buildings were exploded and burned. Children were taken. Powers were drained. We were all so scared, so hurt. So many of our people were taken away from us. A village with many creatures united to only a few of us that survived. We are unsure how many more survived, but only nine of us were able to go through the portal of Alfheim. Agatha, Mary Louis, Arwen, Phelan, Elyon, Follis, Myron, Elora, Joraldin. When we realized we were being attacked, we tried to let as many of the elves know to come to the portal. Only we made it though. We believe the source of mana was broken by one of the acolytes. I keep seeing the name Maldivor and acolytes and Mudman, but I don't know what they are. The mastermind of it all, official research by the ovens of Alfheim. This Malivor book goes over a witch making a machine to defend itself from evil creatures, but the machine itself turns evil. The witch also had to end her life to put down Malivor, which is known as the evil creature. Oh my god, it's us here. Rainforest Hollow is attacked by Malivor and his acolytes. The people in the land are swallowed and erased from known existence. Few survivors flee. The land of Rainforest Hollow was once a place for being of all sorts. Will the king come to my father and Queen Everleigh, my mom? The Hollow was home to all fairies, witches, and werewolves, and any supernatural you can think of. They helped build the pack, making Rainforest Hollow one of the most powerful land and magics. Because of the pack the citizens had built, their power and people become a target for Malivor. Around 26 years ago, in a stormy night, the Hollow was attacked by acolytes and consumed by Malivor, who grows more powerful than he ever was. Because Malivor engulfed Rainforest Hollow and its people, they are forever forgotten into existence. Oh my god, it's all making sense now. And this book, which was also conducted by Alvins of Alfheim, speaks of a three-eyed monsters known as Acolytes, and they are followers of Malivor. They don't seem to speak, though from time to time they mutter time. They are usually in groups, never alone, and friendly will attack at any given chance. They can sense from a 20 block range, and they hold Malivor's chalice. I knew something terrible happened, but I didn't expect it to be so dark. 